Yeah, 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 it's your boy Drummer, a.k.a. D-Boy Fresh, right here on Mayhem TV. You already know it's me. Hey, yeah, boy. What's good, brother? You finally, finally touched down in the UK. Man, we touched down in the UK, man, live in the flesh. You know what I'm saying? It's been a pleasure, man. You know what I'm saying? I appreciate y'all having me over here. Appreciate you supporting your boy. You know what I'm saying? We getting it in. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to my football club. You know what I'm saying? All my boys out here getting their football money. You know what I'm saying? We going to the games. I went to the first game. I ain't going to say who game it was. You can check the Twitter. But we going to all of them, man. I got many more to hit, man. You know what I'm saying? At Drummer Boy Fresh. Follow me on Twitter, man. Let's so, get it. So what's the move? If why you out here, man? Man, I'm out here to get money, you know what I'm saying? I heard them pounds is doubling up, so you know what I'm saying? They told me I need to be out shit, you know what I'm saying? Get right to it, you know what I mean? But nah, you know, there's a lot of rappers, a lot of producers, you know what I'm saying? Come from music, you know what I'm saying? Definitely wanted to hear some ear candy, you know what I'm saying? Wanted to see some candy, you know what I'm saying? So we about to hit the Drake concert, you know what I'm saying? We hit Tim Westwood early, did a lot of interviews, you know what I'm saying? We just out here having fun, man, you know what I'm saying? So if um, guys, that um that on the music team and mm -hmm. their bread is correct, how can they get at you? Man, they can just hit me up, just approach me, just walk up to me and say, What up, John Boy? You know what I'm saying? I got some music, you can give me a CD, you know what I'm saying? You can you can you can, you know what I'm saying, ask me for the information, we can chop it up, you know, we just vibe, you know. I am a I'm a real dude, you know what I'm saying? I ain't on no Hollywood and all of that. Like I like to actually vibe hands on, listen to the music and see see what your approach is like, you know what I'm saying, see what your delivery is like, you know, if you got some videos or whatever, we might go on YouTube, check some of the videos out, you know what I'm saying, burn a couple of them, you know what I'm saying, and, and just, you know, chill, straight up. Okay, can you stress the importance of the mixtape circuit? The mixtape circuit is extremely important, man, you know what I'm saying? It's, I, I just dropped my first mixtape, you know what I'm saying, as far as my first rap mixtape, but over the course of my year, I done dropped over 100 some mixtapes, you know what I'm saying? And it's, it's just a fan base, that's your that's your audience, you know, through mixtapes, you, 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 you birth your audience, you know what I'm saying, as far as what, what you known for putting out, you know what I'm saying? Whether you a DJ, a personality, whether you a rap uh, artist, whether you a singer, you know what I'm saying? You gotta create your fan base through mixtapes so people can understand what you got to offer, you know what I'm saying? And after understanding what you got to offer, understanding the appetizer comes to full entree, you know what I'm saying? So most people who got good mixtapes in the streets are putting out albums or putting out singles or capitalizing off of their audience through selling it on the radio or, uh, you know, on iTunes or underground sites or even in the streets selling your mixtape hand to hand, you know what I'm saying? So it's definitely about branding yourself. Okay. Oh, um, I know that you're a big fan of um, Quincy Jones. Oh yeah, Quincy the homie, you know what I'm saying? Quincy an OG as far as just the knowledge of his intellectual aspect of the game, how he took it from the musicianship, put out a couple jazz albums, you know what I'm saying? And even his approach to Mike as far as, you know what I'm saying, offering him a whole new sound, you know what I'm saying? So you gotta know who to approach, how to approach him, and what to present, you know what I mean? So respect, shout out to the best. Is there any particular artist you have like a similar relationship with, like how Mike had a relationship with Quincy Jones? Like when you get into the studio, there's mad chemistry. Not yet, you know what I'm saying? I don't think we've seen that side of Drummer Boy yet, you know what I'm saying? So you gotta stay tuned, it's just the beginning of something new. You done heard me producing for a lot of other cats, you know what I'm saying? And you ain't really seen me. But now that you see me on the scene, you're gonna see me working with a lot of new cats and a lot of new birth artists, you know what I'm saying? So stay tuned to see what's the next magical chemistry with Drummer Boy. And what advice have you got to um, up and coming producers that are trying to get in there or whatnot? Any producer trying to get in the game, brand yourself, be heard, you know what I'm saying? Be visually seen, you know what I'm saying? Hire a publicist to promote and market what you got going on. A lot of guys have good music or good things going on as far as interviews, red carpet, certain relationships with artists, but you have to have a publicist or a PR, somebody to help you promote a lot of that to make you even bigger than what the situation really is, you know what I'm saying? So take advantage of your opportunity. That's another thing, you know what I mean? I've seen a lot of guys not ready for the opportunity when it presents itself, you know what I'm saying? And you miss your opportunity, then you miss your boat, then you miss your blessing, and you don't get the blessing you deserve. So prepare. Preparation is key. Drummer boy, e-boy fresh.